Hola! Hello! Thank you so much for clicking on this video. You're probably here because you're wondering, should you study linguistics? Whether it's an undergrad or a PhD or a master's degree, you probably wonder, is it worth studying linguistics and can you even get a job in it? I'm gonna give you some insights. I'm a PhD student in second language studies, which is very similar to linguistics, at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, and I've studied linguistics for the past 10 or so years and I can tell you a little bit about what it's about what you know job possibilities there are and maybe what kind of programs you might want to look for if that's one of your worries also if you want to see what my life is like at the University of Hawaii at Manoa as a PhD student in second language studies with my partner who's a PhD student in oceanography at UH you can subscribe to our channel and watch our vlogs or about other tips that we have for other grad students or for incoming grad students and students at UH okay so first of all just to respond to the question is it worth studying linguistics you can say it depends it definitely can be worth it but it's fair to say that there are some things you have to consider or you should consider at least if you are unsure what you want to do in your job or what you want to do after graduating because not everyone wants to be a professor not everyone wants to be in academia doing linguistic research for the rest of their lives that's probably i don't know maybe one percent of the people i don't know the numbers that's a tiny number of the people that actually study linguistics and maybe it's not the most achievable thing because there's only so many professor positions out there but if that's what you want to do then you don't have to watch the rest of this video then you're set you can definitely study linguistics to become a linguistics professor but yeah let's talk about other options what else you can do and I think one of the main points to keep in mind is that there's many different kinds of linguistics. So there's linguistics, the study of languages, but there's also something called applied linguistics. And that's obviously just applying the stuff you learn in linguistics or the stuff that linguistics talks about. The good thing about applied linguistics, and there's lots and lots and lots of programs in the US and around the world in applied linguistics, they usually allow you to combine the study of linguistics with something else. You know, you apply it to something else and that can be teaching, language teaching, but it doesn't have to be. It can even be language policies. You know, the rules that we have around language, what they mean for certain groups of people and who imposes them and what that means for the whole society. And you can go into any language policy kind of job if you study something like that. There's, there's applications for tourism, obviously. Language and tourism is a common thing to study in applied linguistics. There's also language and psychology if you're interested in cognition kinds of things. All of those can be applied linguistics. And because you're applying the study to a real life, real world context, it's very, very likely that you'll find a job in this field because lots and lots of fields need language experts but they prefer language experts that also know how to apply the language. Yeah, so applied linguistics, definitely a thing to go into if you're worried about the job market. And another good thing about this is that it seems like the schools that are really good for linguistics or the more expensive private schools, Ivy League schools, the good schools for applied linguistics are often state schools. Um, University of Hawaii is a pretty good one. Actually, I don't know the exact ones that are Ivy Lake and that are not, so I'll list them. These ones are really good for applied linguistics. Another thing that can be a really, really good choice to do if you're interested in linguistics and wondering if you should do it, but not sure if it's worth it or if you'll get a job or if it's really useful in the real world, you can consider adding a minor in something non-linguistics related. So you can do a major in linguistics or applied linguistics and a minor in business. You can do a major in linguistics, applied linguistics, second language studies, and a minor in computer science, in marketing, in psychology, in a certain language, in Japanese. All of those things will 
equip you with lots and lots of skills that other people don't have because linguistics and applied linguistics aren't super common things to study, especially if you specialize in something like language policy, language and psychology. If you do that, you'll stand out because you're not just a business major, you're a business minor, you still have the business skills, but you know the language. If you want to go into language app design, you are the one that knows the language the best. You are the one that knows the language processes the best, how language is being learned the best, the cognition behind it. That's a lot more important than the computer science part that you will also have with your minor, but you'll stand out from other candidates because you have the foundation in language sciences. You'll stand out among other business candidates because you have the foundation in language sciences. And if you can double major, that's also good obviously but it's definitely a combination people don't choose often or having the linguistics part being the major not the minor isn't chosen too often but it actually makes you a very strong candidate on the job market and talking about language learning apps or computer science and things like that another thing to do is to find a department that has some kind of focus or some kind of specialization on language and technology, whether it's natural language processing or language learning application design, it doesn't matter, but anything involving technology is very, very, that's what people are looking for right now. So you don't have to worry about having a job or learning something that no one can use because that's definitely something people are using. There's departments that specialize in it and the graduates from those departments are usually really have an easier time finding jobs because they don't do just the study of languages, but they apply it to technology and technology we know is one of the most booming fields currently. I think for that, our program, University of Hawaii has a small focus in technology, but there's other programs like Purdue University that has lots of language learning and technology. And yeah, you can just put it in the comments if you want me to look or if you want me to tell you more universities that would be good for this. I can do some research. And this is the last thing that I think would be important or it would be a good approach to studying linguistics if you're not sure or if you have other interests too and you're not sure if linguistics is the one you should go for i think a really smart choice would be to study linguistics or applied linguistics focus on whatever you want to focus on i don't know if you have an interest in law you can go into language policies multilingualism multilingual policies if you're interested in teaching you should go that route if you're interested in language tests you know those language tests that you have to take for getting a certificate for being able to study abroad or something like that there's people that study only those tests for example if you're interested in any of those things do applied linguistics with a specialization you can figure that out once you're in the program usually they have different classes that gear towards those and then you can still do an internship in your last year, in your third year, something like that, do an internship during your summer that introduces you to the business world, that introduces you to the law world, that introduces you to the computer science world. And with having a minor or with having taken classes in those fields and doing an internship, you'll be very, very prepared for any job that's not academia, that's in the real world where you can apply your language skills that you have and you'll stand out because you have the language skills and usually that's the one that's overlooked. People think if they can code an app, they think they can code a language learning app. They can't. You need to know the language learning processes that are behind it and you will have them. You will know them. People think they have a degree in law, they should be the ones making the policies about languages. No, they need input from people like you who know about multilingualism in the real world, how people's experiences really are, how people's experiences happen, what shapes them, things like that. All of those things that you learn in applied linguistics, in linguistics, but that are super important and that you will be able to share. So in total, in general, I would always say yes, if you're interested in linguistics, study it. 
if you're interested in applied linguistics or if you want to know more about it, look into applied linguistics programs. Definitely do it and then always try to look for ways to branch out. Try to look for ways to specialize. Try to look for ways to make it applicable to the real world. But there are lots and lots and lots of applications. You don't have to sit at your desk all day and draw syntax trees. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but that's not what linguists do. That's not what they have to do. That can be you if you want to do that, but there's lots and lots of other stuff you can do with a linguistics degree. So hopefully you're going to get one. Let me know if you still have questions. Let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree, and what else you want to know. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Subscribe to see other videos by us and see you in the next one. Hola. Hello. 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 No, I don't want to say it like that. <laughs>